thought I would take you along on a shop with us to Aldi and maybe Walmart or Target. We'll see, depending on what they have there. We're gonna be shopping for about two and a half weeks for our daycare and our family of four. We do go get produce weekly, but um, I just wanna take you along so you can see what we typically buy for our daycare. I'm gonna start by showing you the grocery list and our meal plan. So this is what our grocery list looks like. We go through our meal plan, which I'll show you in a second, and then write out everything we can think of. We also have a grocery staples list that we look through just of stuff that is often overlooked because we use it all the time and we forget that we need to buy more. So we reference that and then we kind of rewrite the whole list by category so that when we're at the store, it's really quick. We only have one daughter with us instead of the two ones with the grandparents, our older daughter. And so this is a great time to go um, and the both of us can go together. So this meal plan is for basically the first two and a half ish weeks of the new year so um, we didn't really plan a whole lot during the first week um, but I am making like instant pot mac and cheese for daycare dip lunch pizza for daycare we don't really plan for the weekends because we're usually just kind of winging it or with family and then I'm gonna be making this top line is for daycare the bottom line is for supper so we're gonna be making chicken noodle soup a breakfast casserole for supper that I'm serving to the daycare. I'm also doing the keto diet, so that's a keto recipe. We're gonna make a chicken artichoke bake from the five dinners one hour. I will put a link to what that is in the description, but basically we make meals, we prep them for the week, and then we eat them throughout the week. We're gonna have turkey roll-ups for the daycare, breakfast for supper, which is a staple here now that we're doing the keto diet, ravioli with cottage cheese, leftovers, bagel pizza, and then we usually do some kind of pizza on Fridays, but we just kind of wing that. Um, keto since I'm on the keto diet then the next week spaghetti with meatballs taco soup tuna sandwich corn dog muffin pizza roll-ups for lunches and then a slow cooker taco soup parmesan crusted tilapia breakfast for supper leftovers and then what have you so those are the main meals we're buying for as well as breakfast for daycare snacks for daycare um, and just some other random things like coffee and stuff like that really starting to regret our decision to come today because there was an intersection where there was only us and the car across from us had to stop but everybody kept stopping the other way and then we came to another intersection where there was a stop sign and people weren't stopping now there's car parked all janky weird here and there's cars driving down the wrong way on the, in the parking lot so we can only imagine what's going on inside of Aldi we're troopers, we're gonna do this. You guys are worth it. <laughs> yeah, there is something around me now. What do you think, Bug? Look at all the groceries we got. So many groceries, spent about $245. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Okay, bring it over here, honey. Bring it here. Bring it over to mama. A little helper. Oh boy. Okay. There. There. That's more your size. Oh, thank you. Okay, guys. Here is the epic haul. This is one of our bigger hauls for sure. Normally we're under $200, but we have gone a week or two without getting groceries. Plus, we're buying for the next like two and a half, three weeks. So we actually only spent like four or five hundred dollars on groceries for December, and normally we spend six hundred. So. It definitely we're making up for it and let's quickly go through it so this is for daycare like I said and for our family we always have fresh produce for the daycare lunches so we have sweet peppers cucumber sugar snap peas pineapple normally I grab like a cantaloupe or a watermelon I didn't even think of that strawberries grapes we've got lots of eggs Sam saw this good deal what were these $4.99 yeah um, on these disposable vinyl gloves he used a lot for his meat and smoking and stuff smoking meat um, we've got clementine cuties um, spinach and lettuce salad mix for my salads for lunches we've got string cheese a bunch of block cheese and shredded cheese we do a lot of cheese around here on various dishes and cheese and crackers and all kinds of stuff for the kids we've got these beef hot dogs these I use usually for quick snack or when Celia has breakfast early in the morning, I just do like a waffle with this. Kerrygold butter, heavy whipping cream. I use this um, with some Splenda Stevia um, for my coffee when, on my keto diet. 
We usually get the never any meat, but we could tell this was adding up quickly, so we just went with the regular um, just to have on hand in case we are doing like homemade Lunchables or whatever. Celery, we've got bell peppers for a recipe. I do chewy bars for kids who go to preschool when we're eating breakfast. They don't have time to eat a full breakfast, so they usually eat at home, and then I just give them a chewy bar to tie them over at school. Bread, bagels for breakfast. We've got our whole wheat tortillas, cottage cheese, hummus. We have a lot of artichoke hearts for a recipe. We've got these crunchies just for a pinch when babies are hungry. Um, San really likes this queso. We've got some pasta sauce, peanut butter, Parmesan cheese. This is for our cornbread, corn dog muffins, coffee we are almost out of, so we definitely need that. Egg noodles I make for the kids a lot. We do these crackers. I love them because they're less mess and they seem to be a little healthier and the kids really like them. They work really well for little sandwiches with cheese. Elbow macaroni for instant pot mac and cheese and then our daughter Celia loves the regular mac and cheese so we make that like once a week for her. Pretzels, we've got goldfish, chicken. We were out of tuna so we got some tuna. Turkey pepperoni, one of my daycare kids doesn't eat pork, so we've been buying, that's why we got the beef hot dogs. Um, and the turkey pepperoni for pizzas. This meat is for San. I don't know what he plans to do with that, just... Just cooking it. Yep. Okay, for his meal prep, and it's the same with the shrimp. Vinegar we use for cleaning. We've got some turkey breakfast sausage for a recipe. I do pancakes a lot in the morning. I just have to have really quick breakfast, so that's what I do. Um, chicken breasts or chicken thighs, I mean. We've got meatballs, those are for me. We still need to pick up turkey meatballs for a recipe. San's gonna pick those up a different day at like Target because they didn't have any. On keto, I eat a lot of rice cauliflower. We've got tilapia for a recipe. Um, green beans was for a recipe, plus we just, we like to have frozen veggies on hand just to have for meals and stuff like that. Corn, peas, broccoli, and then San loves his Belle V. Um, it's basically like LaCroix, but Aldi version, cheaper. He drinks a lot of carbonated beverages. So that is it, you guys. It's about $245. Like I said, this is definitely like a start of the new year. Fridge is pretty much empty. The pantry is out of a lot of stuff. So this was really a bulk um, haul, whereas normally we spend in the like 150 range, I would say. Right, would you say? Yeah. I'm you know, this is a lot of this will carry over to more than just two weeks. Yeah, later, so. some of it. Yeah, so yep, just stocking up. That is what this is living the daycare life, family of four, um, always having enough food on hand kind of haul. Fridge before, fridge after, overflowing cheese and meat drawer, full produce drawer. Looks good. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we buy. If you wanna see like a week of eating as well, let me know. I could film like all the daycare meals, all of our food and that kind of thing. So you can see, you know, what kind of things we actually make with this stuff. But um, I did do a keto week of eating, so I'll link that below. And I have done some daycare lunch meal idea video, so I will link that below as well. Bryony's laughing. But I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.